I've worked in the aerospace industry for many years um, as a structural engineer and also in manufacturing. So being able to work in a research environment where I can combine the skills and knowledge that I've obtained from my previous role with some new techniques and concepts um, from chemical engineering is um, something that's really important to me. Aviation is one of the most difficult sectors to decarbonise and hydrogen has been identified as a clean fuel source. The problem with it is that it has a very um, low energy density per unit volume, which means it's really difficult to store. So the research that I'm conducting is looking at an alternative way to store hydrogen using a solid porous material that can be easily integrated within the storage tanks. We've done a lot of work on modelling, uh, studying materials, using neutron scattering techniques and so on, lots of advanced techniques. And it turns out that if these materials can be made in scale, and we can make them with the particular pore structure that makes this very high density hydrogen, then that could be a real game changer because they will operate under conditions that are not so demanding uh, compared to high pressure gas, which is one of the conventional routes. So if you can work closer to comfortable conditions, put it that way, then you'll save a lot of money and, and energy and time. Once we've manufactured the prototypes, we then need to use many different analytical techniques, both in the chemical engineering department, looking at and um, characterizing the materials and also their hydrogen storage properties. Um, we also do some testing on these geometries in the mechanical engineering labs, which allows us to understand the mechanical and structural properties and how they will behave in the aircraft tank under either very high pressures or low temperatures. Bath is leading uh, this, this area of research because we've got world-leading capability both in our labs and amongst our staff and the connections with mathematics, uh, with chemistry and chemical engineering for instance, but also be because we're unique in the way that we have these very strong links with industry. So our research is driven by industry. Successful integration of these materials within a hydrogen storage tank will be a significant step forward in overcoming some of the challenges that we face in adopting a hydrogen powered aircraft. Being able to work in research that will help to contribute to reaching net zero is something I'm really passionate and excited about. <laughs>